Hi everyone, I'm Rachel, and in this tutorial I want to show you how to color hyper-realistic lightning in a thunderstorm using the Color Therapy app. You can transform any landscape or cityscape into a stormy scene by adding lightning. This is a fairly easy lesson that can add a lot of mood to a piece. First, color the foreground with dark colors using blues, purples, blacks, grays, or other cool dark neutral tones. Okay, so I've picked this image of a castle and I've already colored it in with really dark tones and I have a lot of shadow and a lot of blues, grays, blacks, and also some purples in there too. So that's what you want to do first. Now let's go ahead and open up the color palette and choose our background color as well as the lightning and clouds colors. So open it up under seasonal, go to seasons greetings. There's some really nice purples and blues in there. So under gradient, select that darker blue into gray color, and that's going to be our background color. So I like this uh, gradient because it's a ominous looking color. And just tap to fill in the background and back on the color palette. Now let's go ahead and set that to solid. And I want to choose a very dark purple, so that darkest color there, a medium purple. I'm going to choose a light blue and then also that pale yellow too. And one last color, let's use a gray. So in the color palette, in the next palette next to that one is called New Year. And I wanna choose this really nice dark slate gray. And as always, we always need a black and white. So just under the basic palette, get a basic black and solid white. All right, so we're ready to get started. So the first thing we wanna do is add a lot of dark clouds in there. We already have some clouds, but we wanna make the whole sky look very ominous. So in the manual mode, I'm going to use this smudge tool because it works really nicely for clouds. And I'll have the opacity at 100 and the size at 100 as well. So using that slate gray color that we have, make sure that coloring inside the lines mode is set to on. And I'm going to just start adding it in to the sky here and there. And make sure that you are blending it into those other clouds just a little bit. And you can bring it all the way down to the horizon line just a little bit. Now you want to do the exact same thing with black as well as that medium purple color so it begins to look like lightning is lighting up the sky with a bright fluorescent color. So using that black, I'm going to kind of just add a bit of a vignette around the edges so it looks like it's sort of closing in on the scene. Still adding it into the clouds too. And then let's lower the size to 30 after you're done doing that. Then with that really pale yellow, just add a tiny touch here and there to the clouds. Sort of like they're being lit up. Just in areas here and there. And just blend them in together with those other colors. Okay, so now comes the fun part and we can add some bolts of lightning. So in the manual mode, let's switch to airbrush now. Let's lower the opacity to about 35 and raise the size to 80%. And I'm going to select that blue, that really light blue color, and I'm going to start making a glow in the sky where I want to put those bolts. So I'm going to leave coloring inside the lines mode to on because I want the lightning bolt to look like it's going behind those clouds. I'm going to add the bolt right here. And so I'm, what I'm just going to do is sort of just add like a nice glow there. And that'll kind of guide that lightning bolt and um, kind of help me to know where to put it. Okay, so let's go ahead and add the actual bolts now. So in the manual mode, let's just raise the opacity to 80% and the size to about 35%. And with that light blue color, you're just gonna make a origination point for the lightning somewhere at the top of the clouds. And I want it to go behind the clouds as well. And I'm gonna have it sort of fork off from two areas in the clouds. And I'll just add a little bit of a Y shape. So it's kind of a Y shape and then I'll just stop it there. Now let's go ahead and just lower the size now to about 5% and raise the opacity to 100. And now we'll add in all of the tiny lightning bolts. So coming from that area there, just go ahead and start adding a wiggly line, however you like, and it's going to go all the way down to the horizon. And you can start to add in little lightning bolts wherever you want. They can cross over each other. They can start and go upwards, sideways, wherever you want. It also looks good if you add in more pressure on some of the lightning bolts and have others with less pressure. 
And this really does work best with the Apple Pencil, so I recommend using that. Make sure to bring it all the way across the sky so it really looks like a big bolt. And that's all there is to it. So then under the Effects tab, if you want, you can remove the lines or you can leave them black. You can also add in the falling star effect or even more drama. It also helps to add some highlights to the foreground where the lightning would be reflecting light, such as on the edges of the castle walls and in the water. You can even add in colors such as pink or turquoise for another variation. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.